All right, we are going to look how we can use the information that we get from illustrations in a print or digital text to demonstrate understanding of its character, setting, and plot. So this is called Party at the Farm. Cow and horse slept in the red, in the red barn. Every morning they went out to the big field to graze on some delicious grass. One day, sheep moved to the farm. Cow wanted to throw a party to welcome sheep to his new home and introduce him to all the other animals. Cow shared a plan with the other animals. They were all very excited. Farmer Fred heard the news. Animals can't throw parties, he cried. This made the animals very sad. For the next few days, Cow was too sad to make milk. Horse was too sad to help with the plow. And chicken was too sad to lay eggs. And pig was too sad to eat. After three days of this, Farmer Fred realized what was wrong and came up with an idea to fix it. That very night, Farmer Fred helped the animals throw a big party. They had a lot of fun welcoming sheep to his new home. The next day, all the animals were happy enough and able to do their jobs again. So our first question we have to answer is, what does the first illustration in text tell you about the setting? So I am going to go to my tools real quick here so I can add text. And I'm looking at the illustration in the text and I see here it says that cow and horse slept in the red barn. So what I'm going to do Let's do this. Cow. It's not letting me do it, is it? And horse slept in the red barn. I think I can make that bigger. There we go. It still doesn't help that much, does it? I kind of covered it up. There we go, barn. And not just any barn, but the red barn. Okay. I look further down and I see here where it talks about sheep moving to the farm. And from my experience, I know that barns are usually on farms. So I'm going to say down here. The first illustration in the text tell me this story took place in a red barn on a farm. Because it gave me both of those details about the setting. Now we're going to look at this second illustration right here. Which of these sentences from the text best tells about the second illustration? So I'm looking at this. I see they've got balloons, party hats, probably having a birthday party or some sort of party. Look at the second illustration in the story, which of these sentences from the text best tells about the second illustration. The next day, all the animals were happy enough and able to do their jobs again. Well, I don't really see them working there, so I don't think that's the answer. Farmer Fred helped the animals throw a big party. I'm going to assume that is Farmer Fred there. Farmer Fred realized what was wrong. It doesn't really look like he's shocked or surprised or that he's found the answer to something, so I don't think that's what it is. So I'm going to say the answer to this is... Oh, that's a little bit too big, isn't it? This one. Farmer Fred helped the animals throw a big party. All right. Trash this one. Go down here. How are the first and second illustration different? Okay. So the first is up here of the barn. Second is the animals with Farmer Fred. The first illustration, illustration shows a setting. The second illustration shows an event, maybe. 
Both pictures show where the story takes place. Mm, sort of. The first illustration is at a barn. The second illustration is on a field. I don't really know for sure that they're in a field. There's a number of different places they could be. That also tells me this doesn't give me a lot of information about the setting or where the story takes place. So the best answer is going to be the first illustration shows the setting, the second illustration shows an event. And I'll highlight this one. Maybe not. Doesn't want to highlight, does it? Let's see. No, that one won't. Okay. Let's look at the next one. This one is called Backyard Camping. Devin and Danny wanted to go camping. They decided Devin's backyard would be the best place to go because he lived near the woods. The boys did not have a tent, but they brought sleeping bags outside. They also packed a backpack full of snacks and soda. They were very excited, and that evening their camping sleepover began. Devin and Danny went outside and unrolled their sleeping bags in the most comfortable place they could find. Then they decided it was time for dinner. The boys unpacked their backpack and ate a feast of chips, cookies, and candy. They washed down their food with some sugary soda. Next, the boys decided to tell ghost stories. They did this for a while until suddenly Danny heard a noise. What was that? Danny asked, fear in his voice. Then the sound came again. It was a rustling sound from a nearby bush. Devin's face turned green. I think I'm going to be sick from all those snacks, he moaned. Danny ignored his friend and kept staring at the bush, afraid of what was making the noise. Let's go back in the house, Donnie suggested. I think that would be a great idea, said Devin. Next time we need a tent, said Donnie. And real dinner instead of candy, said Devin. So we're going to look at the first illustration and the text. And they're asking us, how were Devin and Danny feeling before their camping trip? So here's a picture. See the boys right there? Look at their faces because it asks how they were feeling. And then it said they wanted to go camping. Um, they decided the backyard would be best. That's not really helping me. This sentence says, though, they were very excited. And that evening, their camping sleepover began. So those sentences or phrases combined with the look on their faces tells me Danny. Excuse me, I keep saying Danny. It's, well, it's Danny here, and then it's Don, Donnie sometimes. And Devin were excited about camping. Sorry about this. All right. That's also a complete sentence answer. All right, the next one says, what information does the second illustration give the reader that is not in the text? So let's look. Ooh, they were trying to figure out what was in the bush and what is it? To me, that looks like a snake. So the second illustration tells me the, the thing they heard in the bush was a snake. That's what it told me. And then the last question, which character's fear does the second illustration show? Mm, I don't think it's really showing anybody's fear. I think here, if we're going to go back, let's see if somebody seemed like they were scared of snakes. So it says here that Donnie had fear in his voice. And it just seems like Devin is sick because he is, you know, turning green because he ate all that candy. 
and it says he was afraid of what was making the noise. So really the text is helping me more than um, the illustration. So sometimes guys, they ask you a question and it doesn't really have to do with the text or the illustration like they're asking you about, go back to the text and see if you can find the answer there. So what, which characters that would be Donnie. In this case, they said it was Donnie. Was scared. Let me go down here. Of what was in the bush. In this case, it was a snake. Who knows if that's what he was really scared of, was snakes or not. So that is, um, those are some examples of how we use illustrations and the text to understand the characters and the setting. I hope this lesson was um, good and worth your time and taught you something.